Hello folks, it's Edward. Uh, the last video I did a test on uh, the IMR4064 using the uh, IntelliDropper from Frankfurt Arsenal and um, checking it across, cross-referencing it across with a RCBS beam scale. So today what I'm going to do is use the Hodgden uh, it's the Hornady Superformance from Hodgden, which is a much finer powder compared to uh, the IMR4064. So I'm going to check that to see how that performs um, as far as the, uh, the IntelliDropper being consistent uh, and being accurate with the IMR4064. If you haven't watched that video, please do so. Um, in that video, it is very consistent. It is very accurate. We tried uh, three different loads. Each load, I don't remember, probably about four or five times. So I'm going to go over uh, the... Uh, uh, so I'm going to try the Superformance Hodgden. Again, it's a finer powder, so we're going to try that and see how it goes. So I will go ahead and uh, zero the unit with this pen. Now this pen that I'm using, um, this is already, uh, uh, the RCBS beam scale has been zeroed to this pen, so I'm going to use this so I can just take it directly across. So that is zeroed, I'm going to cancel the previous load, whatever was on there. Now. Uh, Again, the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal, it has one feature that the other manufacturers don't, not that I know of. Uh, this has a powder calibration mode. So once you press the powder calibration, it will calibrate the unit uh, for the speed uh, of the discharge of the powder uh, based on the powder that's there. Um, and then um, I believe what that does is once you start using it, uh, for your load, either 50s, whatever, however many cases you have to load, it will um, um, it will be much faster as far as discharging uh, the powder. So I will do the powder calibration for Superformance, and you will hear um, you will hear the motor turning fast, medium, slow, and then it'll just go between the different speeds, and it will calibrate itself. Then we can use, uh, then we can start discharging uh, the powder. So this may take a minute or two. We'll see at that, at what weight it will stop and it will be calibrated at. Now, while this is going on, um, I usually drop in uh, some desiccants into my uh, powder cans uh, to keep the moisture out. Well, not to not to keep the moisture out, but uh, to 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 absorb the moisture. I'm sorry, not not to keep it out. All right, so this one is uh, powder calibrated at 88.4. So we'll go ahead and dump this guy back in the hopper. It is already zero, so let's just pick a number, I don't know, 45.3. And I'll put it on auto mode. And I'm gonna set my beam scale to 45.3. So it's set on 45.3. And let's check it across the beam scale, see if it is accurate. Yep, it's right on. It is right on. Now let's see if it's consistent with this power. It was very consistent with the IMR 4064, and let's see if it is consistent with this as well. 
I think it will be. So 45.3. Okay. I'm gonna trickle. This one is just a tad low. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. But I'm gonna trickle in. I'm gonna see if I can count the number of kernels. I think that was just two kernels that just dropped in. I don't know um, how much different it, it will make um, as far as when we're shooting. But Two kernels brings it right on. Okay, for some reason that did not zero. So what was it, 45.3? Let's do that one more time, 45.3. And we're going to try a different uh, charge now after this one. And it will give you the double beat telling you that it is done. All right. Perfect. 45.3. So I will cancel this and let's put in, I don't know, 26.8, so we're trying a different weight. Twenty six point eight. Twenty six point eight. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Twenty six point eight. Right on. Okay, again, I apologize. I don't have the setup so you can see the beam scale at the same time we're not set up that way yet it seems like sometimes you have to it will go down Again, right on the money. Perfect. 26.8. All right.
Right on, 26.8. All right, I'm going to try one last. Let's try 13.2. Uh, Thirteen point two. So now I have it set at thirteen point two. I'm going to cross reference it with um, the beam scale. It's perfect. Thirteen point two. Perfect, 13.2. It is a very accurate unit. I'm very happy with it for 180 bucks. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I think they're about 180 bucks. Uh, it is well worth the investment, in my opinion. Um, I used to do the um, drop using the Hornady uh, manual uh, hopper. And it had to trickle charge it in using the Hornady um, trickler, but it was just taking too much time. So I decided to go with the Frankfurt, and I've been happy with it. So I decided to do some uh, videos for you guys. Uh, hopefully, um, hopefully um, this helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do put them down in the comments section below if you like the video gives it a uh, give it a thumbs up if there's anything that I that I can improve on if anything uh, that I have misspoken on uh, please do uh, make an effort to send me an email or just put it in the comments I don't mind learning I always love learning um, I know there are guys out there that I have much more experience than I do so I don't mind learning um, so, thanks for watching, and I will do another video on the H4350 um, and uh, on the Varget. And I'm sure both powders will come out uh, as accurate as the IMR4064 and as this one that I just tested, the Superformance. Uh, that's all. Thanks for watching.